Chasing the stars will stride into the dark Never back down till the battle is won They see foe with hearts brave and true Unafraid of the unknown Because I'll face it all with you today we're going to be taking a look at what is probably the best Amazon review I have ever heard. Welcome to Let's Narrate. Today we're going to be narrating Amazon reviews of sugar-free gummy bears. Was that mispronunciation intentional? With the internet these days it's hard to tell. Today's Amazon review is by Luke and Luke says, If that title doesn't get you to read it, you are a boring individual. After a late night study session, I felt confident, but I had to decide between sleeping in or cooking breakfast. The eternal college dilemma. My eyelids chose sleep. As they will always do if you let them. My stomach later regretted this decision. Foolproof solution? Make some toast, then go running out the door with it in your mouth. And after several uncomfortable stomach growls, I finally decided to make a quick stop by the campus bookstore. See, if you have time for that, you have time for the toast plan. Being in the hungry state that I was in, I felt it only logical to pick the largest, yet least expensive candy in order to get the more bang for my buck. Honestly, I don't think you can blame what's about to happen on the gummy bears, rather the decision to have candy for breakfast. And there they sat, two bags of Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. Is it just me, or did the narrator turn into a goat for a second there? As I walked to class, I gleefully chewed on those abominable little bastards. Abominable! <laughs> can you believe that? I sat down at my desk, as the professor informed us that, due to issues with cheating in the past, restroom breaks would be prohibited. I get why, but that feels like it's asking for trouble. Me, 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 me. The demon bears hadn't yet released their unholy necromancy upon my stomach yet. Necromancy is the art of raising the dead. If they reactivated your dead stomach, then I'd walk away from that calling it a miracle. So in my moment of ignorant foolishness, I remained seated, still munching on those little bear-shaped bombs. Did Benzai release a candy? But this time it was followed by a sharp pain, as if those infernal hellions had orchestrated an attack upon my colon. The escape plan has begun. Before question 14, my worst fear was upon me. The Satan Bear's burning hot, liquidy dark magic crashed against my anal sphincter like a tidal wave. Mr. Hanky, no! I was able to close the hatch just in time, but those relentless, toxic bears beat against it, like orcs breaking down the doors of Helm's Deep. There's an image for you. Suddenly, a loud, gurgling war cry came from my belly, and the entire class lifted their heads. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! With 15 questions left, I promptly wrote C for every answer. Including the essay question? and ran out of the classroom. My professor yelled something, but I was too preoccupied with a volcanic eruption that needed to take place before I could find sweet, sweet relief. I don't know how sweet it could be considering the fact that they were sugar-free. I burst into the restroom like the Kool-Aid man, though I doubt he was screaming, oh yeah. And, behold, the handicap stall was empty. Sun rays from the adjacent window shone upon it, as if it were a gift from God himself. Now, my child, you may shit. It took absolutely no effort to expel this demon, and almost immediately the floodgates of hell were opened, and the damned liquefied souls of an entire bag's worth of gummy bears cried as they burned through my sphincter and into the watery abyss below. Do you think this level of poetry was running through this tortured soul's mind as this was happening, or not until after the fact? I had never felt such simultaneous relief and anguish in my life. You've clearly never finished editing a video at 2 in the morning. After 30 more minutes of this, I immediately went home and dug a hole in my backyard and burned the remaining bag of gummy bears. Yeah, that's not exactly how it works, ladies. Sorry, your fire doesn't really hurt us, but I mean, I could fake it if that'll get your dick hard. The only place for these godforsaken hell bears are buried deep below the Earth's surface. In the septic tank. This is hilarious! I have no idea what prompted poor Luke to devote this much effort into an Amazon review, especially one that could just as easily be summed up as, these damn things gave me diarrhea, but I applaud and salute you good sir. 
And if nothing else, if his failed test was for a writing class, I hope he tried to submit this review to his teacher for extra credit. I'm a reviewer here. You review it, I review you. So, what exactly is this place that we're heading for? This! The Moon Prism Tavern. Many lifetimes ago, the founder of this establishment created it to be a safe haven for magical girls to come and enjoy themselves without fear. Whether it be from their enemies or just from undesirables. Huh. Well, that explains the no men rule. Speaking of... Yeah, yeah, give me a moment. So... They cater specifically to people like the Sailor Scouts? Well, yes. Serving ladies of the actual magical girl profession was the original intent. However, arcane females of all kinds are more than welcome. Including your friend, I presume? Indeed. Shall we? Neela! Welcome back! Can I get your usual? Not today, Lady Serena. I'm here on business. Where might I find Altizen? Like where she always is, in the back booth, scribbling. Good day, Altizen. Not much of a talker, is she? No worries. Listen, we need a wind elemental. We're offering free room and board. Interested? She says she'd love to, but she must decline due to... Oh, Alti, are you still in debt? Debt? You see, Altizen has been a patron here a long time, and has accumulated a sizable tab. Now Serena won't let her leave until she works it off. Maybe we can help with that. Are you sure? It's not like we have a lot of money saved up. Oh, come on, how bad could this tab be? Like I said, she's been here a while. What the hell kind of drink is a dragon's affection? And why does it cost so much? Ooh, I gotta try their pumpkin ale. Not now. We don't have time to build up the funds to pay this off. Any other options? I believe so. Lady Serena? What can I do you for? My friends and I would like to request a master's payment to cover Alti's tab. Oh, haven't had one of those in a while. But, like, are you sure these two can fight? Trust me, they are more than capable. If you say so. What's a master's payment? Basically, it covers any tab free of charge. It can't be that simple. Otherwise, Alti would have done so by now. Very astute of you. You see... Ladies of the Moon Prism Tavern, our very own Neela had requested a master's payment. Oh boy! 